I S U P K. To the family, brother Red Pill representing on the ledge. Do me a favor, family, make sure you subscribe to I S U P K on YouTube. Get some of that fire that the brothers are delivering, some of that good information, all right? Brah. Give me, give me that scripture. 
Luke chapter 17 and verse 1. Then said he unto the disciples, Is it impossible but that offenses will come? Now this is, we're going to get a little bit before we get into it. Alright, we're going to get into some of the spirit. When you're reading about Christ, the type of spirit, you got to be reading it at the end. You, get, you can't read it in a Christian soft, flowing, you know, God loving and loving and loving spirit. You can't read the scriptures like that when it comes to Jesus Christ, when it comes to any of the scriptures. The Bible says the Lord is a man of war. So that means what? It's about battle. It's about offense and defense, strategy. It's militant. That's what the scriptures is really about. Not homosexual loving everybody. Read that. But... Woe unto him through whom they come. So Christ told him, he said, offenses will come. Offenses must come. Basically mean people are going to talk, uh, disrespect the, the Bible. Disrespect the priests and prophets. Do things like that. Uh, that's going to come. But he said this, read that part, but woe. But woe unto him through whom they come. But woe unto him through whom they come. For example, Judas had to betray Christ. How else would Christ went up on that, when uh, took that death? How else would the Lord's will be done when the Lord prophesied that Christ was going to be killed? Judas had to do that. The offenses must come. Judas had to betray him. But he said woe unto them through who they come. Woe means destruction in the Bible. Destruction to who they come. So, yeah, Judas was supposed to do that, but that don't get him off the hook. The Lord still destroyed Judas. The Lord still destroyed the scribes and the Pharisees. The Lord still destroyed the Romans. You don't understand the Lord. Like that old, like that show where uh, Floyd Mayweather's dad was saying, you don't know shit about boxing. You don't know nothing. Most people don't know nothing about boxing. With uh, Kevin Hart, you don't know nothing about the Bible. You don't know nothing about the Lord. Read that part and get read it. But woe unto they come. Keep going. But woe unto him through whom they come. This is Jesus Christ telling his disciples that destruction, the Lord going to deal with anybody who disrespect. It said, it said earlier about, uh, we keep going, keep going. It were better for him that a milestone were hanged about his neck. That a stone was hanged around his neck. And go ahead. And he cast into the sea. And he what? And he cast into the sea. That's gangster. Where do you think those uh, gangsters get it from? Tie a brick to you, throw you in the, throw you in the huts. That's that's Christ. Christ was the one who said that first. They talk. Why well, not always steal everything from the Bible and from the Lord? But that's when you get that Sopranos, where they throw people in the in the in the, in the water, tied to a brick. Christ said it first. A millstone is a big rock that you tie. Uh, and crush the corn with. Christ said it's better than something that we wrap you around with a cord around your neck and throw you into a river than you offend or touch one of these little ones. The little ones is basically the, the people in the truth. The brothers and sisters in the school who learn it. Brothers and sisters in the school who teach it. Alright, keep going. Then that he should offend one of these little ones. It's better that you get tied up to a brick and thrown in the river, then you offend one of these little ones. Does that sound like somebody who's all love? That sounds more like a, a like he threatened. That's a sound, that's a threat right there. Right. He, he, let, he, tell, he teaches it to his disciples so his disciples can have a mindset on how to roll. His disciples can have a mindset because he eventually leaves. He gets killed. And then he teaches him what his what he taught his disciples had to stay with his disciples and they kept teaching it. So what he's telling his disciples is basically the mindset. Saying, anybody touch you, it's better that a milestone be thrown around their neck and they get thrown into a river. Basically, they're gonna be destroyed. Don't worry about nobody touching you or offending you or anything like that. They're gonna get dealt with by the power and strength of the Lord. Christ was more like a uh, like an OG gangster. And not like a homosexual hippie smoking weed. First of all, he's black. And second of all, he's black. And third of all, he's black. Right. So picture a black man saying it. And then you understand the spirit of the Bible. 
The Spirit of Christ. You see what I mean? Keep reading more. Uh, I think that's it on that. Uh, read more on it. Let me see what else is there. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass that's against you. That's it on that. That's it. Give me Ezekiel chapter 4. Chapter 1 verse 4. And also, if anybody wants to call in to listen, you can call in at 641-715-3570. That's again, 641-715-3570. The access code is 470-194. Alright, matter of fact, with your phone, call that number and type in that code right there. Um... Uh, so that's what you do to listen in. And also type in your questions. If you have any questions, make sure you put your questions down in the, uh, in the, in the, in the Facebook Live feed. So we can get your questions answered. And so we start. We start off with classes with questions. Anybody have any questions, answer your que actual questions now. Let's get that out the way. Before we get deep into this lesson about the UFOs. The chariots of the Lord. The angels. And black woman giving up that money. They holding on that money like it's, uh, man. Like they gonna die without it. We gonna get in, we gonna get into all that. Is it right for a man, for a man, for a woman to provide for a man? Is that in the Bible? Is that wrong or is that right? We gonna get it out the Bible. Is it wrong for a woman to provide for a man? Basically. Let's say, for example, in today's living, this woman makes X, Y, Z amount of money, and this man, he's in the UPK, he's learning the truth, he don't make no money. Is it wrong for that woman to provide for him, make sure he eat, make sure he got good clothes, make sure his hair braided, do all these things for that man? Is that wrong for a man in the UPK, uh, for a woman to do that? We're going to get that in the scriptures. So yeah, you just, uh, now you just set it to the side. If somebody calls in, you'll hear a beep. Alright, and then uh, they can ask a question or just listen in through the phone. Okay. Alright. Give me that. Ezekiel chapter 1. Ezekiel chapter 1. We're going to start right here breaking down the an uh, angels and the UFOs. Keep going. Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 4. Wow. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. A great cloud. A whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud. Basically, picture in the movie Independence Day. When the first Independence Day movie, when the cloud, when the chair, when them, U, them UFOs, was, spaceships was coming through the cloud, and what you see it was cloud and thunder and lightning. That did not come from Steven Spielberg. That did not come from some white man's imagination. That came from the scripture we, we read. That came from the Bible. The white man steal more than more than he than he breathes, man. So he stole this. Now we're reading it the clouds. So it's clouds coming around these chariots. And we're gonna draw a picture of it too to give you a good uh, idea. Keep going. And a fire unfolding in itself. And a fire un what is this? Read that again. And a fire unfolding itself. Fire unfolding itself, so like fire going in and out, cloud, cloud going in and out, just like in that movie. If you see that, if you picture that in your movie, if you've seen it lately, you would know exactly what it's kind of looking like, what this, what Ezekiel saw. Keep reading. And a brightness was about it. Uh-huh. And out of the mist thereof. And the brightness was about like a light. There was this movie called uh, in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, where... The, it was about UFOs coming out, coming, and it was like bright light. Everybody was in the cornfield, like looking in the sky, and it was like this bright light, and like it was a, it was a dead, it was a UFO in the movie. But that's what this was seeing, like a big, big bright light coming. You see, what I mean, that's what they're basically seeing. Like basically, you're just seeing blinding light, cloud, smoke. You know, what I mean, the Lord. You you think picture of a, a jet engine or something. You know what I mean? Just like that fire. You know what I mean? Keep going. And out of the mist thereof, as the color of amber. As the color of amber. Now let me get the amber is, uh, there's different colors of amber. 
You know, you got like a red amber, and you got like this grayish amber. All right, this is more like red, like fire. This cloud of smoke, and just just picture cloud of smoke like the movie. Keep going. Out of the mist of the fire. Mm -hmm. The fire. Keep going. Yep. Also, out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. The likeness out of the midst thereof. So out of the midst thereof, out of out of this what he's seen came four living creatures. You know what I mean? They came out of it. You know what I mean? Like this what he's seeing right here is basically what you would make a, what you would make into a movie. That's what the white man done. He made this into movies. You see like a ship coming, then you see these four people walking out from the ship or something like that. That's what you're seeing here. Keep going. And this was their appearance. This was their appearance. This is the angels. The angels of the Lord. Shalom, Yahweh, Shem, This is the angels of the Lord. All right, they coming out. Read on. They had the likeness of a man. The likeness of a man. Basically what he's saying, they was walking on two feet like it was a man. Keep going. And every one had four faces. Each one of these had four faces. You know what I mean? Basically... Picture, I had a face here, and a face here, a face here, and a face on my back of my head. You know what I mean? Now, that's, that's what he's seeing. These are the angels. Angels, remember, angels don't have to look like a person. They don't have to have a certain look or nothing. They are just, they are other otherworldly creatures. The scriptures say you have terrestrial and celestial. Celestial, which is... Uh, spirits and, and creatures in other dimensions. You got things in other dimensions. Best believe life, like they say, you know, life, the, the universe is so big, it's impossible for just to be humankind. There got to be more life and more things out there. There is more life out there. There is more creatures out there. There is more intelligent life forms out there. The Lord made They're the angels. They're the spirits that the Lord created for vengeance and for ministering. There is other life forms, other thinking beings, other than people. We read in the Bible. This would have four, these four have four faces. Basically, you cannot sneak up on these four beings. Alright? Keep going. And everyone had four wings. And they had four wings. So two wings here, two wings there, four wings. Keep going. And their feet were straight feet. Their feet were straight feet. Basically like how a person's feet, we going to get it. Keep going. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. Sole of a calf's foot. Basically, have you seen ninja, ninja shoes where it's got a split in between the big toe and the rest of the feet? That's what type of uh, footwork these, these uh, angels had going on. Keep going. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. And these beings sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Basically, picture my skin. This is like burnished brass, but glowing. Like this is glow. Like I put oil and Vaseline. This is glowing like, like just glorious. Angels is black. Let's believe angels is black. You know what I mean? But they 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 skin is is glory without blemish sometimes. Like they look like uh you know a black man that's like look, don't got no scars, no imperfections in them, just glow, glorious. Keep going. And they had the hands of a man. Hands of a man. You see what I mean? They had hands of a man. Under their wings. On their four sides. So under their wings, they got hands. You know what I mean? They got hands on, under their wings. So they got their hands, then they got the wings. Like with the wings, is like, a like, on, like on them, on their shoulders, on their back. Keep going. And they four had their faces and their wings. And they four had their faces and their wings. He's like, these four, four cats had their faces and their wings. Keep going. Their wings were joined one to another. Their wings were joined one to another. Basically, 
Uh, just like just wings, you know how they attach. You know what I mean? Wings. Keep going. They turn not when they went. They turn not when they went. Uh, keep going. This, they this is going into the chariots. Keep going. They went everyone straight forward. They went everyone straight forward. So these four beings is coming to him. Keep going. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the faces of a man. Face of a man. Keep going. And the face of a lion. Face of a lion. Go ahead. On the right side. On the right side. Keep going. And they four had the face of an ox. The ox. On the left side. Keep going. They four also had the face of an eagle. Of an eagle. Go ahead. Thus were their, were their faces. Thus were their faces. So it's not even like perfect. Like it's like a face, two faces on one side, two faces on the other. You know what I mean? Like this, these is these is next level creatures. These creatures, if you saw them, you probably piss your pants. You know what I mean? Not, you know what I mean? Keep going. And their wings were stretched up. And their wings were stretched upward. So they, <clears throat> their wings is upward, stretched upward. You know what I mean? Four faces. They coming closer. They coming. You know what I mean? Coming to this this prophet. Keep going. Two wings of every one were joined one to another. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And two covered their bodies. So two wings were touching each other like how they sat, and then the other two was around their body. You see what I mean? Like they had wings around their body as well. So you got these wings around their body, and then these other two wings in the back touch each other. You know what I mean? So they got the wings in the back. Then you got these wings that's around their body. You know what I mean? Like they, the wings is independent from each other. They're not like all oh, got a flat like this. Like two wings being in the back, two wings covering the front. And then the hands was under coming like out the bottom of the wings. So you got the wings covering, then the hand coming out the bottom of the wings. Keep going. And they went. Everyone straight forward. Keep going. Whether the spirit was to go, they went. They keep going. And they turned not when they went. Mm -hmm. and so basically, when he said the spirit, wherever the spirit was to go, they went. Basically, if you've seen a, uh, like if you go outside and you see a bug, or you see a cat, or you see a thing, you just like, they just going wherever wherever they go, it's like they're not going with any purpose. They're just going where, 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 wherever where things lead them. Like you go outside and see a wild animal. Wild animal ain't going like, oh, I'm going to my job. I'm going somewhere special. I'm going to my girl's house. They're just going wherever their spirit leads them. Wherever the spirit leads them, them animals is just going that way. They're going this way. They're going that way. They run into some food. They oh, oh, there goes some food and they get to catch. That's how these angels is moving. Like not with like he didn't know what they about to do. They just move it. Keep going. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire. And matter of fact, as we get as you go back, it's also talking about the chariots of the Lord. You see what I mean? The chariots of the Lord is going to tell you they don't turn. They don't turn like a like a jet plane turns like this and like that. The chariots don't turn. Keep going. And like the appearance of lamps, mm -hmm. it went up and down among the living creatures. Now, this is talking about the uh, chariots. It's going to get more into the chariots. Keep going. And the fire was bright. Mm -hmm. And out of the fire went forth lightning. 